Guess what we just did? What had happened was, so we're looking at the 52s and the 56s, and unfortunately the deal fell through to sell our company. So we're moving on to the next one, but in the meantime, while we you know search for a new buyer for the company, we are going to still want to go sailing and still want to go chartering. So what we've decided to do is downsize a little bit. And then we started looking around and we found out that there's a big difference just between the 46s and the 50s, like half a million dollars difference. So what we did is we came across the Leopard 46, um, really nice boat. Uh, they're quick, they're step talls. Um, they're fairly roomy. Of course, they're not as roomy as the 52 or the 56 or the 62, but... They're also a half a million dollars less. Yeah, and that's a big chunk of change right about now. So what we figured is, is we'd get a smaller boat, um, a 46, and we would start our charter and charter what? One, one, one charter a month, yeah. five, five to seven day charter, and then and get our feet wet and get into it and see how it goes from there and during that time we will still have the company up for sale and when somebody who has the money um you know gets interested then we can because we don't want to just sell the company real quick and have a fire sale just so we can go sailing that's that's mm -hmm. just not smart yeah so we'll make sure we like doing this and and do well at it before we cut off the nose to spite our face. So we went around and we looked at leopards, we looked at lagoons, we looked at the Lagoon 44. It's okay, I didn't, the things I didn't like about the Lagoon 44 was the shower is, you're basically sitting on the toilet to shower and that kind of, you know, some people may not care about that, but that was one of the, my pet peeves, but I did want the fly bridge. Well, um, so we kind of met in the middle at the 46 uh, Leopard um, by Robertson and Kane and it's it's a fairly nice boat um, it has the kind of fly bridge but not really um, we're looking at the a 2009 or better um, so we went and we as you can see we went and took a look at a couple different Leopards um, in Fort Lauderdale yeah we found, he's been searching online day in and day out. You can never get this man away from the listing sites on on whatever page it's on. Um, but you have he, to do your due diligence. And he, we found that Yacht, um, what's the name of that website? Yacht Broker? No. no. I don't know. I don't I, I'm not the one staring at it day in and day wow. out. But <laughs> You'd think as many times as I'd seen it, I'd at least remember the name of it. But... We came across a moorings broker there, um, and he um, turned us on to this Leopard 46, and there's actually one for sale in Marshabu Marsh over in Marsh the Harbor. Bahamas, Marsh Harbor, and which is right around the corner from where Holly's folks have a house um, and treasure. So we took a long, you know, good long hard look at it. We made him an offer. It was a fair offer, we felt. They didn't think so much, so they Counter. turned it down and they countered it. And we met not in the middle, that's for sure, but we met in the middle of our counter, in between their our offer, original offer, yeah, and the but counter. not what they were originally asking oh, for. Oh, not <laughs> yeah, not our original asking price, but we met in the middle between our right. offer, original offer, and their counter offer. And they accepted. So step one. Step one is done. Step two. We have a contract on a boat, guys. Not to is use. dealing with the banks. Yeah. Now step comes the financing and also the inspection. We have to. We have to go get the survey done, and we're going to have to fly somebody out from Lauderdale to do the survey so that it'll meet insurance and the bank's qualifications for a surveyor. Um, then after that, um, Shit. <laughs> it's going to be the closing date of. August 10th August is our 10th. current closing date. That may change. So once we close on the boat, then we'll run it up from Marsh to Treasure, which is a 10 mile short jump. And we'll spend a couple days in Treasure, um, getting her ready for the crossing and we'll bring it home. 
And well, not home because well, right. we, we're kind of landlocked. But <laughs> to we'll bring it back my to first you. home, hopefully in Fort Lauderdale, we're going right. to find a place for it there. Um, and get her ready for charter. Um, and the, the adventure begins. Oh, and we were asked, you know, back when we first started about, you know, the Jones Act. Well, we finally figured out the deal on the Jones Act. You have to get a waiver, but it is doable. It's not that bad. Um, you basically put an ad in a newspaper, and if nobody can test your waiver, then they give you the waiver. And that's how it works. But anyway, I guess it wasn't that big of a secret. It was just a secret to us. But um, what else did we... Once we once we open up things for charter, we will let you know so you can be the first to book in and we can get our teeth wet on you. <laughs> the uh, the the other thing was is we got some bikes in, some folding e bikes. Um, we ordered those, had them spec'd out to kind of what I thought was a better build than what was available here in the U.S and stay tuned for that and that'll be a whole nother uh, episode on the e-bikes yep sorry it's been so long but not a lot to tell we've just been working summertime is our busiest season um, in our business so we've been working and uh, we've, side money <laughs> yeah we've sold almost everything except for the truck and the boat and the boat, uh, which is our ski boat. And so don't forget to like, follow us, and subscribe. And subscribe and keep following our adventure. We're doing it a little bit at a time, but we'll get We're it. We're really doing We're it. We're really buddy. doing it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.